Marshall with it. On the court for the Pistons. Jennings runs the point with Jackson flanking him. Marcus Morris is out there with Andre Drummond. And it's Caldwell Pope in at the three slot. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And, and he's been the key for their offense with the way he shot the basketball. Yeah, he's most certainly not the reason they're in a hole. I mean, his percentage has been outstanding. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That'll be his second foul of the game. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for the Pistons. Stolen. Here's Caldwell Pope. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. The 76ers leading by seven. And Marshall kicks to Okafer. Knocked away. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. He power surged that one down. Mm, wow. Yeah, good oh, turn to use. One of the game's top dunkers for sure. Folks, that's not a petty. Not a manny. That's a facial. <laughs> <laughs> Jennings with the bucket. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. And Philadelphia calls time here. And Marcus Morris is nicknamed Mook. He has a twin brother, older by seven minutes, named Marquise. Both brothers played at Kansas, drafted 13th and 14th in the same year, eventually played for the same pro team. That is joined at the hip. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brett Brown said to his team. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let up out there. We'll see how well his point got across, guys. And looking at the Morris brothers' careers through last season, the one area they haven't been joined at the hip in is in performance. Mark Keefe has shown steady improvement over his first four years. Marcus Morris has had a very up and down start to his career. And you know, Kevin, Marcus has talent. He has versatility. He just hasn't found his role. It's time for him to step out of his other shadow and really establish who he is as a player. Pistons trail by 10. Ilias Sova. Rebound by the 76ers. Okafer's got six rebounds here tonight, and it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's foul number two for him. The drive by Thompson, and he uses the glass on the way up. Thompson's got the lead up to 12 now for Philadelphia. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? Jennings with the bucket. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Now, here's Marshall. And Brandon Jennings gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Roten's checked in for Kendall Marshall. Tony Roten. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. And here we go with Morris, running it up the court. And he gets it to go. And really, once he got that steal, just really nothing the defense could do. That's why turnovers are so costly, because in many cases, they're indefensible once possession changes hands. And that's exactly how they've gotten the lead right here. Easily, he's been their most consistent performer. As simple as it gets, he's hitting everything he's looked at. Keep feeding the fire. Much better job of just taking care of the basketball, really putting the onus on the defense. The Pistons making a change here. Johnson's checked in. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Now Roten. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Soft touch off the glass. And now it's a 12-point Philadelphia lead. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. 
This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Man, that is not an easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, he needed to add just a little more loft on that one because of the size mismatch, and he did it perfectly. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Pistons trail by 12. Jennings. And there's another one for the Pistons. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Now here's Roten. Defense right on him. And he feeds it to Thompson. Shot clock at six. Pass to Roten. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. The Pistons have gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Drummond. Ilyasova up top. No coverage that time. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Down low. And slam dunk by Noel. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for Philadelphia. You know, Clark, when you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. So you said it all there, Kevin. They were lethal from behind the arc. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Roten. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot, and he found them time and time again. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And the shot falls short this time. This game's finally gotten away from him. Yeah, it certainly has. I mean, there's not really much they can do at this point. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. And that'll be his third foul so far. Putting you in. Go. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. And so the 76ers can now just hold on to the ball. The feed now to Stauskas. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's his third personal foul. Twelve seconds left in the fourth. Pistons foul call. Steve Ray. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Philadelphia. Pierre Jackson. At the line for two. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. And so both free throws are good. And it's a nine-point ball game here. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Nine seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And Jody Meeks gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Shooting for Philadelphia, Pierre Jackson. At the line for two. First free throw is good, and that'll push the lead to double digits. Both free throws good from Jackson. And here is Blake. 
so it's the 76ers winning this one easily. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. They certainly put on a good show here at home, and I think they felt they had the edge and that extra little bit of confidence. And that about wraps up.